Hey everybody, Scott Carson here. Welcome to No Closer Show. Hope you are doing well this Wednesday afternoon. Uh, we are actually driving here. I got my uh, co-pilot here. You can't see her. Oh, there, there she is. Oh, that's me. Sorry, let's flip the camera around here. That's Steph there. Yeah. So, uh, we're actually on our way out to Houston, Texas. We actually got tickets to the YouTube concert tonight, so we're headed there. Uh, we had these actually for a little while, so we're going to make use of them. Drive there and drive back tonight. And enjoy some live. So we're, we're excited about that. But today's topic is about what's your motivation. Now, I just got back. Actually, we just got back, my apology, from San, Di San Diego and then L.A. And <clears throat> we were out in San Diego for the Magnifier Well Summit. I'm sure many of you are aware of that. I've seen all our social media posts with Aaron Young, which is a great event to go and really kind of recharge to recenter focusing uh, on your business or in your business, some of the things that you need to do to accomplish to make sure everything's right. Well, after that, we drove up to LA and joined our good buddy Greg Reed at his amazing event called Secret Knock. And uh, talk about an amazing event with a lot of great entrepreneurs. One of the, the great things we love going to on a regular basis. Quite a few of our mastermind members have gone through the, the past years. Um, hey, Cody. Hey, everybody. And that's more working on your business, more and more so on yourself at an event like that. Because when you walk away from an event like that, you're often extremely just jazzed, jacked up, motivated, rock and rolling. So I labeled the title of today's No Clothes episode, What's Your Bunny? All right? Not Playboy Bunny. We're keeping it clean here, okay? But if you think about, when you think about a bunny that just keeps going and going and going, we think about the Ever Ready Bunny, right? The pink bunny with the Energizer, the Energizer Bunny. That's it. Thank you. And a lot of people have a go. You know, what gets you motivated? What gets you rolling out of bed in the morning? For a lot of us, it's our why, right? Uh, you know, what's your why? It's family, things like that. But if you're doing something you don't enjoy, it's not always the easiest thing to do, right? You drag, you're, you're looking forward to Fridays, you're looking forward to five o'clock, you're, you're looking forward to happy hour to get away to drown your misery. And I always love coming out of these things motivated, but it doesn't take too much to motivate me because I really do enjoy what I'm, I'm doing. You know, I enjoy the people I surround myself with. I enjoy uh, our staff. I enjoy just our, our vendors, our clients. I enjoy our students. So it's easy to be excited when you're around people doing things, right? Now, if you're around people that aren't doing things in your neck of the woods or you're still working in a job with people that are, oh, ho-hum, it's a little tough. So sometimes you need a little bit more of a straight line, IV shot or snort, of uh, motivation. So some people like to read, some other people like to listen to music, some people like the water, and I apologize that it's bouncing around here. Steph's driving like a bat out of hell. Uh, I'm joking, because <laughs> we're on the toll road here in Austin, headed out, but <clears throat> I, I always like walking out of Seeker Knock because I've got basically the next six months of reading materials. And we had such an amazing group of people there that just laid back some uh, personal heroes of mine uh, some people I really have looked up to. Leslie Visser, sportscaster. Pat O'Brien, amazing sportscaster. And maybe you are familiar with him from uh, uh, Hollywood Tonight or, or, or a variety of different shows over the CBS Sports, things like that. We had the big man, John Sally, four-time NBA champ. We had a chance to hang with him for a little bit. Tonino uh, Lamborghini, uh, you know, the owner of Lamborghini, the son of the creator of Lamborghini was amazing there. Uh, Sh Frank Shankowitz. Uh, Ron and Arlene Klein. Leo Bryan. <clears throat> Who? Leo O'Brien. Oh, Leo O'Brien, three-time uh, softball uh, Olympic a, winner. She's a three-time gold medal Olympian. Yes, three-time gold medal Olympian for USA softball. And she's one of only four women in the world to hold three. Yes, she's one of only four women in the world to hold three. You can tell which person Steph was definitely interested in. <laughs> I, I think they're awesome, but that was, that was a really cool story. It was. Leah's really great. She's actually been really good. I've had a chance to visit Leah in the past. Uh, over the last couple of year knocks, but uh, we had uh, we had uh, the captain from the Jamaican bobsleds team, where the movie Cool Runnings is based on, was there. He was a hoot and holler. We had the first ever Indian born uh, NBA player, Satnam. Satnam Singh. Satnam Singh made us both look short. Um, just an amazing group of people there, just hanging out, visiting, being able to come up to people and talk. And just willing to give, I think is I think the biggest thing is people willing to sit down and, and visit. for those that were there longer than you know showing up and then leaving, um, we had quite a few people there. We had the most recent uh, uh, winner of the uh, Survivor. of Survivor there. He was there and visited for a little bit. Tyson Apostle. Yes, Tyson Apostle. Thank you, Steph. But what I'm what I'm trying to get at is we all have different things that really energize us. Okay, 
what puts us in a good mindset? Is it reading? Is it music? What's your big energizer? Is it being around people? Is it going out and networking? Some of us are much more energetic people, and we crave uh, that touch, that attention of people. Uh, it reminds me often of the uh, the book that many many people should read called The Five Love Languages, which talks about what you really need. Is Some people's need is to do things for others. Other people, it's touch. Uh, other people, it's time, spending time with somebody. And we often see that as being the biggest... Uh, you know, the biggest uh, gap in relationships is the difference in love languages. If you don't know what your partner, your spouse's love language is, you could really be missing the boat because, hey, you're trying to do something for them because it's coming from your langu love language, but it doesn't hit theirs. But that, that makes sense. So uh, that's a great book to really help you find and motivate you to kind of, hey, keep relations together. That's what you need to do. But what I'm trying to get at more so than anything else is so many people get revved up from going to events and then they get home and they get bitch slapped in the face with life, right? You, know, you walk into the office, you got 900 unread emails, you got fires from people, dog your dog is sick, the cat's hacking up a hairball over your bed or on your head while you're sleeping, um, you've got appointments, you got another thing you gotta leave for. It's, it's, it's really easy to get sucked back into life and lose that momentum, lose that motivation going forward. So <clears throat> one of the biggest things that I am a big advocate of doing is you go to these events and you get really, like we said, we get really excited and you get all these ideas, but ideas are only really dreams unless you put them into action, right? Unless you put them into action item steps to make things happen. No, just keep going straight, Steph, taking the toll road. This isn't a toll road exit. So, um, oh no, you don't know the toll road, I'm scared. Uh, yeah. Last night, I don't pay attention. Hey, she doesn't pay attention. That's scary. All right, great. I'm going to end up at ten buck two the end of the day <laughs> instead of Houston. So anyway, <clears throat> my big three action items with uh, with this weekend are probably a little bit different than most. One of the things I was most impressed with um, was actually Greg's actually Instagram account. He's got some posts that had a quarter million dollar, a quarter million hits, likes on that stuff. I'm like, oh my god, it's a lot of traffic. So I actually reached out to Greg already today. Say, hey, let's talk with your. Uh, I'd like to talk with the guy that's handling that for you. And then my staff doesn't do a good idea, but get some ideas. Maybe it's something we can learn something for a short period of time to help implement in our business to help us drive traffic and shit that stuff. Second thing I'm motivated with doing is literally spending time more with my staff on uh, reading stuff. And we that's one of the first things I sat down with um, was with Nicole and Greg and Ryan. Like, hey, let's pick out a book each month. I've got to and Jennifer. Sorry. Oh, somebody's tired. Yeah, sorry, somebody. Jen. Yeah, sorry, Jen. I, I mean, I am tired. I'm a little jet lagged, but <laughs> picking out a book from the, the huge amount of wealth that we got of periodicals and books we got from the book signing, and picking a book each month to spend some time on, to dive into, to read, to share with each other, to really find that motivation or find things that drive everybody a little bit differently. If that makes sense. I know Greg was excited about it. I know Jim was excited about that. Nicole reads a lot too, so excited about that. So that's two. The third one, the third one was something that I think we are very good at, that we close notes, that I noticed a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs there that came and asked, is making sure that we keep... <laughs> Jen gave me the frowny face. <laughs> Sorry. Honey. Sorry, Jen. You know you know we love you. Uh, She's just tired. Yeah, and they know I'm tired. I was brain dead when I walked to the office this morning, but they got a lot of stuff done. Um is to make sure and focus on those conversations. Make sure we focus on conversations, not only with the staff and the office of what's going on, but also with you guys out there. And so, uh, making sure that we're communicating effectively. Yeah, we often, it's, it's one to the masses many, but it's also, uh, we wanna have those conversations with you one-on-one. -on -one. It's what it all comes down to, ultimately, is conversation. So making sure that we're tracking Conversations, making sure things are getting completed, whether it's an email, whether it's a message, uh, going from there. So I know I haven't done a Facebook Live Monday, Tuesday. Uh, I was very impressed yesterday with the Facebook Live. I knew that uh, Scott Duffy was going to do the Entrepreneur uh, Facebook Live stream, so that's why I didn't do one, but I did share his yesterday because I found it valuable. I checked down below the, here for the previous Facebook Live and see that I shared, and, and you'll see kind of the event that I was at. And... Uh, a lot of the people are there, but we're really excited about that stuff, guys. There's a lot of things that we all can do just to touch base and share with people. Um, and sometimes motivation 
doesn't have to be any given thing we're doing. It's something that we maybe say to somebody. Maybe somebody, like, hey, you're doing a great job. Keep up the work. Or making sure somebody's doing something that they're working with you, something that they enjoy doing versus giving them something that they dislike doing. Um, maybe it's just a, a simple a simple thank you note. And it's uh, Maybe it's just a thank you card. Maybe just dropping a text message to somebody wants to say, say, hey, man, or, hey, gal, love you. Doing a great job. Keep up the good work. You need anything, don't hesitate. Because call it. I don't think a lot of us do as much of that as we should. Uh, you know, little things like that will help people motivate you, help you bend over backwards to help others out or that help you out in the long run. Although that's not what you should be doing it for. You should be doing it literally genuine, genuinely to show that you care for the people you surround yourselves with, the people that are important in your life. So what are some of the things that you guys like doing? I see Curtis Warden joined us. I see Rick Hill joined us. Uh, I see Cody Cox. What are some of the things that you enjoy that really get you excited and motivated? Uh, one thing I always get excited about is going to the gym. Going, running to the gym and working out drives my motivation in the afternoon. Uh, it motivates me to stay busy and take care of myself so that I can do more important things along the way. Uh, <laughs> you know, the gold exchange would motivate Greg Arcizo, Jen. You're right about that. I got the staff pulling BPOs and, and talking to realtors uh, for CMAs on uh, 60 uh, counters we got back in yesterday uh, on, on 100 bids. We got more bids coming in that are getting countered back. But said about that, you've got to wire money tomorrow. On the closing, at, uh, we're in on ten, uh, six, seven, and six. Um, yeah, you know, we all have, we all get motivated. Different. Sometimes it's motivation to leave the job. Maybe it's motivation like I want to do something and work towards an ultimate goal. Maybe it's going back to school. Maybe it's literally downtime. Now, Cody Cox, that was. I'm glad you brought that up. Refresh during the downtime. Uh, they had one of the foremost brain specialists from Harvard yesterday speak yesterday, and he said that daydreaming or sitting in quiet thought is very helpful for our brains and then although we spend about 43% of our day actually daydreaming it's hard to believe that that our brains actually need that downtime to not be effective now you've heard the saying that the mind can only absorb what the ass can can withhold or withstand it's kind of the case we get tired you can't do 12 hour sessions because you'll start losing information on after really 4 to 5 so Refreshing downtime is important. Uh, we were talking in the office. Hey, let's make sure we get up and and take law, uh, walks during the day. You can just walk around the complex to refresh your brain. You come back, recharge, and do some things. Maybe it's a cat nap or a long nap like I might need. But anyway, <laughs> little things. Refreshing downtime is a great thing. Uh, people like to spend time with their kids or spend time with positive people. Uh, what's funny is that there's two networking events in Austin that have been canceled recently because the restaurants have closed. Blackfin with a deal bender. And then also Quest IRA is looking for another spot to host their trillion dollar mixer on a monthly basis because the place that we're having it, which is a great meeting spot, has gone out of business. So it makes you think that, hey, probably uh, people are looking for that networking. They're looking for that motivation to get out and recharge, especially if you're working full time. You want to get out away from the people that are uh, dream killers and spend time with the people that are actually going to be there helping. Yeah, Nicole likes refreshing downtime equals nap time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we might have an advocate a nap time like we were in kindergarten. After lunch, everybody takes a 30-minute nap. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Or we go out to the, the, the pods and be quiet in the office. So, or see if we can get uh, the office to put a, a, a couch in one of the offices somewhere. So, uh, I know it's a little later in the afternoon, but I wanted to share this while we were driving because it's getting caught up. This morning, it's me in the office, and we're, we're looking forward to it. I know Steph gets really recharged with music. Um, one thing I enjoy is water being on the around the ocean. That too. That's always recharging. You know, walking. Uh, one of my favorite things to do when I'm at some place, whether it's Florida or Hawaii or California, is I really like getting up early and going down to the beach with a cup of coffee, taking my shoes and socks off, and walking in the water. Literally walking in the water. It's one of the nicest things out there. I enjoy it. Yes, sometimes I'm the Yahoo that's the only person that's swimming in the cold water. Uh, that's always re re recharging. Um, I think you guys can learn a lot from the, the whole kind of shock of system. I know that experts like Tony Robbins, that's one of the things he does. He has a cold bath that he jumps into every morning for 10 minutes and jumps, and jumps back out to it. It shocks the system. It motivates him. It gets things rocking and rolling for him and go from there. I know some people like to do the whole cryogenic thing. It's kind of a, 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 a new 
technique or new way for people to really kind of recharge and refresh their bodies and stuff like that. I may have to do that in Austin here sometime soon. So what's motivate you guys? What are some things that you get to get rocking about and enjoy doing? Uh, maybe it's designing things. Like if you've got a creative side, you get really excited about creating things and, and itching or stretching those creative muscles. I know when uh, we're in the office and Nicole has put together some t-shirt designs and this one's like, hey, do this. She's like, oh my gosh, she's all over it. So if you're wanting your nachos and notes t-shirt, you can actually order one now. <laughs> we got that up and running for people. It's some fun stuff. We're like looking doing that. Looking forward to doing that. We got some other creative designs. We're gonna throw that out there just as kind of some fun stuff for you guys to be able to share your nachos as you're out walking around and, and, and networking out there across the board. So what are the things you guys are doing? What is your energizer bunny? What's the thing? I mean, I'm not talking about Red Bull or alcohol or co coffee. I know sometimes we need a good kickstart your day to get the, the blood flowing, but if you could be doing anything you wanted to do, or be doing anything every day, what is that? What's that one thing that you don't, if you look, you're doing something, you look up and, it, and the day's gone because you've enjoyed so much what you're doing. You're so excited and motivated to be doing things. What's that one thing, everybody? Reframing what? Reframing negativity. Reframing negativity is the thing you enjoy doing? I do now. You enjoy reframing negativity. Well, yeah, because if you have a situation Did you just say that I was right on a lot of things? Oh, well, I know. It's a rare occasion, isn't it? No. Oh, my God, folks. I'm just kidding. Watch out. I'm just kidding. It's going to snow I'm everywhere. Kidding. Hell is freezing <laughs> over. <laughs> Steph just said that my positive <laughs> comments were correct. Some of them are. Oh, good. my gosh. Oh, so I would agree to that. You get out of life what you put into it. If you're negative, Nancy, you're always going to, ah, ah, ah. All you're going to get is, ah, ah, ah. That makes sense. Uh, You're just I'm scared. I'm very tired, so <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just really tired. Uh, but, uh, that's probably why you're tailgating this poor person in front of you. Uh, she's tailgating. Objects are closer than they appear, everybody. So, uh, yeah, you don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Exactly right. If you're a Debbie Downer, that's all you. You want to get rid of the Debbie Downers in life and be the motivated Mike or the motivated Michelle out there to get things done. So. Uh, any other comments? Any, anybody else want to share what they're focused on? What their motivation is? Make things happen? What they do when they pull themselves out of a, uh, a rut? Creating things. Creating things is always a good thing. Sharing with people, getting people excited is one of the things that motivates me is when I get emails or phone calls or text messages from people saying, hey, I just closed on this deal or I got another private funder or I'm rock and roll and making things happen. So that always excites me and that gets me motivated. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I will agree to that to a certain extent. Sometimes, like uh, Greg shared this week, uh, something he shared with me before, he's, he's been out talking with people, these billionaires and multi-hundred million dollar, millionaires and all these 
high net worth entrepreneurs are doing amazing things, talking about, uh, you know, they told him, hey, Greg, don't believe the lives you're spreading. Now, yes, it's fun to chase your passions, but don't, entrepreneurs, their passions is, is, is entrepreneurship and bouncing from one business to another one. They don't get so tied into where they're going down with the ship. Uh, I think you guys understand what I'm saying about that. Your passion is going to be great, but if you're so passionate about something, so blind to the, 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 what the situation you're in, and you're, you're in a sinking ship, you got to learn to play Frogger and jump off that and jump to something else, or pivot and turn 180 degrees or turn something, get a lemon to the lemon if you need to, okay? Oh, I love that, Andy. Andy Spagnolan says, the Debbie doubters, delete them all. Amen to that, brother. They'll get rid of those people, get them out of your life. Get them off your databases. Get them off your Facebook profiles. Get rid of those people, those haters out there, because they're not going to do anything. Uh, one of the big things is a big suck of energy is everybody that focuses on negativity. You know, oh, the government, or oh, the election, or Trump did this, or all this negative shit. They're their own worst enemies, and that's a lack of motivation. There was somebody was talking about, oh, screw the Fed, screw the banking system well, this weekend. And I'm like, well, quick, Greg, what's your... Even Greg was asked this, well, what's your... Yeah, what's your solution to the problem? And he couldn't come up with a solution. No, you got to change your mindset. Well, how are you going to change your mindset? How are you going to start doing things? Give us some alternatives, or, or you're part of the problem as well. Snow, yeah, get rid of all the snowflakes. You're right about that, Andy. Exactly. So, all right, everybody. Well, hey, uh, we're going to let you go here because we're probably about to hit a spot where reception is pretty, pretty slow or low. Hope you guys enjoy this. Do me a favor. If you get this far, go ahead and share this. This has been helpful to you. Share it to your profile. Share across any groups you're part of. We'd love to uh, spread our word and spread what's going on out there. We hope that we can help spread any motivation to make things happen. So in this case situation, don't kill the rabbit. While it's rabbit season, don't kill the rabbit.